Boys daydreams kicked around on the streets of their childhoods are now the pride and pressures of men, soon to be measured in goals scored and shots saved by Qatar's national football team. When these 23 players take to the pitch in November, they know many might view them as a long shot. We are the Asian Cup champions and uh, it's not going to be easy for the teams to win against us. It will be hard for them and we will make it difficult for them. This will be the team's introduction to the World Cup. As host, Qatar will be a top seed. This is the first time football's premier competition has been held in the Middle East and only the third time it's been held outside Europe and the Americas. There's a lot of misconception about the region. It's time to, uh, to bring people closer to each other. I think uh, sport and, and definitely football and, and even more like a World Cup can do so. Qatar. Since 2010, when Qatar won the bid to host the 2022 World Cup, the country has been in a perpetual state of construction. Millions of migrant workers in the last 12 years have transformed desert into the stadiums, roads, hotels, and metro system that will make the World Cup a legacy for Qatar. But Amnesty International says thousands of workers have died due to unsafe conditions, and many were exploited by employers. Qatari officials say three people have died on the job for World Cup-related projects, and reforms have been implemented that have improved workers' rights greatly. This country of 2.8 million people has never hosted an event on this scale. If attendance estimates pan out, Qatar's population will swell by more than a third during the World Cup. To assist with security, the Turkish government is sending a team of 3,250 people. It includes riot police, special operations forces, bomb experts, and bomb sniffing dogs. It's also training about 700 Qatari security personnel. No matter the outcome on game day, Qatar's national team has already logged several entries in World Cup history and become the embodiment of the football aspirations of this country and region. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Doha.